In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get more views and grow faster on YouTube using the YouTube audit tool from vidIQ. Let's dive on in. Okay, guys, my name is Rachel Peterson, and I'm excited because we are close to crossing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. And today I'm going to share with you a tool that I pretty recently discovered that is changing the game for me. What's wild is my account was starting to kind of slow down in terms of growth. My channel wasn't growing month after month, uh, and I was kind of running out of inspiration. And I'm going to share with you guys what turned everything around for me and how we are now back into a track record of growth, at least in two of the three key metrics on YouTube. I'm curious to know, do you know what those two three metrics are? Comment below and let me know. But I'm going to show you guys exactly why I'm obsessed with using vidIQ's audit tool. It's an entire channel audit to totally breathe life into your account, whether you're small, whether you are a big existing account but running out of steam, or if you just want to speed up your growth on YouTube. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is grab a vidIQ 30-day free trial. You can check out the link in beneath this video, and you'll see that I've put a link for 30 free days worth of a trial from vidIQ. Then you're going to go and download the Chrome extension. By the way, you can find the Chrome extension by searching for Chrome extension for vidIQ. Go ahead and click on that there, vidIQ vision for YouTube Chrome extension. Once you've downloaded that and added it to your bar, it's going to look like this. See, we got the vidIQ right there. Now I'm going to open up my YouTube channel and look at my channel dashboard. Now what's neat is everything here looks familiar, right? We've seen all of this before. But I'm also going to go look at this right here. Daily ideas, keyword inspector, competitors, trend alerts, most viewed. Ah, there it is. Channel audit. So I'm going to click on the channel audit. And what's amazing is that while my views have started to trend downwards, my subscribers have gone up as has my watch time, which is so, so, so important. So we're moving into this new season of following the recommendations from vidIQ. And we've pretty immediately seen some benefits. And I'm really excited because I guarantee you we're going to grow significantly over these next couple of months. So take a peek right here. This metric right here is very important. Um, by the way, the three major metrics that I was talking about in the beginning are views, subscribers gained, and watch time. And I would argue that the importance uh, could almost be argued that it's watch time and then subscribers and then views, but some people will argue about whether views are more important or subscribers gained. They're both pretty important, which is exciting, but watch time is going to be the number one metric that we focus on. So what you're going to do is look at the videos that are focused on here, and you'll see there's views per hour. Uh, that means these videos were viewed the most, um, engagement rate, the total number of views, subscribers gained, competitors, and that's neat because you can actually add in your competitors, and I'll show you guys that in just a moment, as well as total watch time, average watch time, top retention, uh, and then top suggested related to your channel. So you can actually create these types of videos in your content ecosystem. If you guys want to learn more about the content ecosystem, let me know in the comments below. But we're going to dive on into a few more things, including trend, uh, not trend alerts, competitors, some of the different things that you can look at here, subscriber analysis. And then we're going to dive on into this beta idea, which is daily ideas, which gives you all of the prompts that you could ever need for creating YouTube videos that crush it for your channel in particular. So I'm going to look at all of this content here. And I love that it's literally called content to double down on. That means you're going to want to create more content like this. And you can click view more on any one of these to see different suggestions. Let's go back to the channel audit. Look at this. You can see what type of content is suggested to your audience and create all of this content. Most of mine is about TikTok. So what that tells me is I should probably create a lot more content surrounding TikTok. I'm curious for you, once you've got your vidIQ Chrome extension and the 30-day free trial, feel free to share in the comments below. What type of content should you double down on? What type of content is YouTube telling you to create more of? Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is competitors, and this is a game changer because you can type in who you believe your competitors are. I have Gary Vaynerchuk. Of course, he sets the bar very, very high. We have Jillian Perkins, uh, Neil Patel, The Future, as well as Vanessa Lau. And what I love about this is I can see what type of content is crushing it for them based on either total views, date uploaded, or views per hour. This is going to be the most powerful. So I'm going to take a peek through here and get ideas for content based on what 
is working for my competition. For example, just about a week and a half ago, I created a similar piece of content like this to Vanessa and it crushed it. And so I know I can create more content like this again because it's going to do well just like it did previously for me. And then she created one and it's doing well for her as well. Um, I love this. Should you do free work? That would probably be a good topic for me. Um, couple more things. How to stand out in a crowded world. I'd probably add a few more keywords to that because uh, the future has a little bit of a kind of monopoly on the topics of freelancers. So I would add a few more words to make it clear that it's for a specific type of freelancer. But we can take a look at all of these. Now I'm going to show you guys what daily ideas look like. I'm super curious. Is this already helpful? Because this is going to be so helpful for us as we increase our views per hour, our views, our overall watch time, which we've already been doing thanks to um, vidIQ, which is really exciting. But let's take a peek at daily ideas and let me know in the comments if this is exciting to you, what questions you have about vidIQ. Let's take a peek. So let's click on daily ideas beta. Now this is neat because this shows you up to 50 ideas every single day. And not all of these are going to be perfect, even though could I probably do one on cryptocurrency scammers and my audience would love it? Yes, my audience is very interested in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin millionaires. That's not something I talk about, but I would probably give it some feedback here. So how to train my dog? Nope, not a good one, not a good one. Not a good one, um, but there's some really good ones in here where I'm like, oh, this is totally what I would do. My audience would love if I did something on how to affiliate market, how to customize content, how to cut videos, how to brand your business. Like already right here, right now, I'm like, these are ones that I want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a bunch of these. Um, let's grab this, 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 this. Oh, these are so good. So many of these are ones that I would want to create for my audience because this is exactly what I talk about and what my audience loves to learn about. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these. Passive income how-to. Oh, that's a fun one. Do you guys want me to teach about passive income? Comment below and let me know. Some people say it's not possible. I've seen firsthand that it's possible, but the thing they don't tell you about passive income is it's a lot of work on the front end. But if you guys want me to talk more about passive income, comment below. So I would go ahead and you can either copy those ideas to your clipboard and then add them to a Google Doc or to your Trello, or you can export the ideas in a CSV. So overall, I'm really excited because we can look at some of the different achievements and milestones that we've hit. We can look at my channel audit and learn more about my audience. Um, let's take a look at one more thing, and that is subscriber analysis. Now, this brings you inside of the vidIQ actual uh, platform. What I love about this is I can see who vidIQ actually sees behind the scenes is my main competition, aka the people that are creating content that my audience is also loving. So if anything, this gives me a good idea of what type of content my audience is enjoying, learning about, etc. Then if you take a look here, you can actually see what times are going to be the best times by day for you to post. So check that out. It's pretty neat. And then also trending videos in your subscriber ecosystem. Now I will say you have to be careful with this because there's some stuff that people just click on, such as like family vlogs. That's not a part of the type of content I create, but it is a part of the type of content my audience loves. Uh, my audience might watch Mr. Beast, but I'm not going to create content like that just because it's in my ecosystem, but this gives me some really good ideas. For example, the secret to my success over the last decade, that would be kind of fun. There's some really great ideas here as well, but I'm curious from you guys, what do you want to learn about vidIQ, YouTube, comment below and let me know, and be sure to grab your 30-day free trial to vidIQ in the bio beneath this video. I'll catch you guys later.